Boolean expression is a mathematical description of a logic circuit. So each of the circuit inputs is a variable in the expression, and then we combine the variables together using the, the logical operations that we've seen before. So and, or, not, x, or, no, and so on. So by using these operations, we can combine the variables together to give an expression for the overall circuit output. So later in the course, we will introduce Boolean algebra, and you'll see that it's possible to mani manipulate Boolean expressions using various rules and laws. Now, the aim of this is usually to simplify the circuits, want to minimise the expression. So if you've got a you know, fairly complicated Boolean expression, you can use Boolean algebra to simplify that expression. And you know, the fact that you simplified it means that you'll be able to build the circuit with fewer logic gates. So it's possible to obtain a Boolean expression directly from a logic circuit. So you look at the, the inputs, and you basically just work your way across to the output. So if this is our input A, we know this node in the circuit will be not A. And then for this logic gate, we've got the AUG, so we've got the OR gate. So the inputs are B and C. So we know on the output here, we're going to get B or C. And then these two expressions here are combined using an AND function. So we've seen this dot, we know the dot operator for AND. So we have not A and B or C. So by working along from the inputs, you work out the expression at each node in the circuit, and you just kind of work your way to the output until you get the final Boolean expression for that particular circuit. And then if you're given the Boolean expression, so this is the expression for the previous circuit. It's possible to create a truth table from that expression. So just go through each um, each of the input combinations and you just apply it to the Boolean expression. So it's easier if you create if you kind of tabulate the values of the circuit nodes. So so we know this expression contains the not a term. So in this in the truth table here, as well as having the output y. We've also got a column for not to keep track of not a and one also for b or c so not a so we know that not a is a one when a is a zero then when a is going to be a one not a will just be a zero and then we know for all functions so we've got b or c so this uh, output B or C will be a 1 every time B or C is a 1. Just kind of quickly go through here. So now we're just looking at these. You can see actually these two patterns are just repeated. So we know that's the expression for this OR function. And then finally Y is the AND of these two. So that's so Y will be 1 when both of these columns are a one. So we know it's zero in the, these situations here. So that last column now, y, that contains the, tr uh, the, the values when, of the outputs for all these different input combinations. We've got them directly from this Boolean expression.